So when I hear about us not having community policing, um, that's a misnomer. It's a false narrative. Our officers are out there every single day in this community bridging that gap and building trust. And I'm sorry that certain individuals in the community may not be aware of that, but that is the truth. You have a community that's screaming for reform within the police department. You have a nation that's scared of militarization in our police departments. The problem is this, this isn't an either or conversation. It's and. And you know, at, at some point, uh, as a policymaker and as policymakers, it is our job also to make sure that our police officers have equipment. It is not, it, it is not, it is not different than, and we don't say it's either, either, they, either they are, they're not armed with the proper equipment or we, we focus on community-based policing, we have got to, as a community, do both. We've got to do both. We ought to be irate as a nation over those things. Ambushes against our officers. 64 police officers shot and killed this year in the United States. More than any in the last five years. One third of those ambushed. 300% increase in ambushes against officers in our country this year. And we think police officers shouldn't be armed just as the suspects are out there that we're encountering. We're coming across gang members every week in our city that are armed with assault rifles that are doing drive-by shootings. These individuals are not doing drive-by shootings with handguns. They're equipped with assault rifles blowing off 40 and 50 rounds in a shooting. And we want our officers to confront those individuals with a handgun and jeopardize their safety. And we know that when you have an, a, a rifle in your hand as a police officer, you can keep a considerable distance. And when you do that, you give yourself more time to make a decision. And that's what we're trying to do. I have an obligation. I have a responsibility, just as you do, to give our officers the equipment that they need to be able to keep themselves safe. And I plan on doing that, and I hope you will today, too.